Hey there, Internet! Wait a second, something around here seems very, very different. <laughs> Uh, never mind, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm Johnny B, and welcome to another episode of Critical Hit. So, it's a momentous week for super duper nerds like me everywhere. A second TMNT movie has just come out in theaters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, which coincidentally follows that tried and true Michael Bay title formula, blank of the blank. Yeah, I bet you never realized that, did ya? Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get to the hits. Number one, the animation on the turtles has improved significantly since the first installment of this series. It's not really surprising that a lot of people consider them to be downright creepy in the original, and while they're still super duper weird looking, after all, they are human sized turtles. There's definitely a lot more realism to them this time around, especially the eyes are downright fascinating to watch. I know I'm an animation slash effects obsessed person, I don't know how to say that, and I mention it in almost every one of these reviews, but it's important to me and I think it's really cool how much technology has progressed. Hit number two, the soundtrack. First of all, music wise, it's like someone took Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack and thought, how could we make it even weirder and more erratic? We're talking 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s hits all shoved together in seemingly random times. And it works surprisingly well. Add to that the fact that they include all of these like weird cartoony sound effects. I'm talking bells and chimes and like prices right dingers and buzzes and all this random stuff. It's almost satirical in nature and maybe that was the intent, but I really enjoyed it. Number three, the supporting characters. Will Arnett is back as Vernon Fenwick and Tyler Perry joins as Baxter Stockman and Stephen Amell as Casey Jones and all three of them are really fantastic in different ways. First of all, I'm just a huge Will Arnett fan. He's in anything and I enjoy it. That's a fact. Tyler Perry, for once not playing a woman, is weirdly insane and definitely like absurd. He has this ridiculous evil villain laugh that comes up multiple times throughout the movie and it's a recurring joke and it's great and I loved it. And finally, what's not to like about A, Stephen Amell and B, Casey Jones, AKA a guy who runs around with hockey sticks beating up criminals. An amazing character and a great choice of actor to play the character. And fourth and finally, it's just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What's not to like about that? Teenagers, mutants, ninjas, and turtles, and hockey players, and more evil ninjas, and aliens from another dimension, and time travel. That's not in this movie, it's just in the series overall. I love the Ninja Turtles so much, in case you couldn't tell. And that alone is worth being a huge, like, bonus plus whatever-ness thing. Unfortunately, the movie is far from perfect, which brings us to the crits. Number one, this movie is very heavy handed in forcing its plot points early on in the film in order to like get the story rolling and introduce character motivations, what few there are. There's just a lot of like randomness thrown in to force the fact that the turtles are kind of sick of being turtles. Mild spoiler alert, but it is introduced within the first five minutes. I'm not kidding, so it's fine. And that's kind of a driving motivation is that they want to come out of the shadows, ha, see what they did there, and be welcome in society. They beat that with a stick repeatedly throughout the movie and it gets a little tired. Crit number two, speaking of lacking motivations, the villains have none. I get that this is a kid's movie and it's pulling from the cartoon very, very heavily, but it's pretty much just the straight up villains want to take over the world because they're villains kind of storyline. That's okay, but it really could stand to have a little bit more meat to it. And finally, you will notice that there is one pair of supporting characters I didn't mention in my hit, and that is Bebop and Rocksteady. They're terrible, like in every way. I will admit I never watched the original 80s cartoon, so I don't really know what their characters were like, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have the just stupid crassness and absolute idiocy and an uncomfortable level of bromance if you catch my drift. Really, I'm not sure I've ever hated any characters in a movie as much as I hated these two. So that's that. Some other bits, however, that I would like to mention. Number one, embrace the ridiculousness. You know that this is Ninja Turtles. You know that this is based on a ridiculous property from like the 80s that never should have been as successful as it is and is intentionally ridiculous. If you take this as an episode of a cartoon show, it's so much more enjoyable than if you expect it to be like a real legitimate movie. That's just not what this is. Other bit number two, Megan Fox is not an actress. I didn't want to put this into a negative because honestly everyone should know it and they shouldn't be expecting anything else. And it's not like a super huge detractor, it's just kind of like why do people keep putting her in movies? And finally third bit, did I enjoy this more than the first one? Because a lot of reviewers are saying that this is head and shoulders a better film than the first. I would agree with one caveat. Is the movie better overall? Yes, absolutely. But there was nothing about the first movie that I outright hated, it was just kind of all middle of the line 
fine, and so I enjoyed it throughout. This movie, however, I really hated Bebop and Rocksteady. I cannot stress that enough. And so it made parts of it very hard to enjoy. However, I would say, yes, overall, it's a better movie than the first. But let's be real, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's Ninja Turtles, we've established this. So if I were gonna score this, how much did I enjoy seeing it? Three and a half. I couldn't decide if I was gonna go three or three and a half because it's really right in between there, but I did like it. I would watch it again. I will probably buy it just so that I can see it whenever I might have the urge to watch a ridiculously stupid movie. You might or might not enjoy it. I really can't answer for you, but if what I've said sounds interesting to you, you probably will enjoy it. It's just kind of fun. But you know, it's definitely more enjoyable and definitely more fun. Future videos on my channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future ones. Follow me on Twitter for any other random thoughts slash announcements, and I will see you next time on Critical Hit Ninja Out.